Good morning. Good morning. Please stand. Receive the joy of your glory, giving thanks to God, who has called you into the heavenly kingdom. Alleluia. Alleluia. As we begin our liturgy for the, for, for the Sunday of divine mercy, we will sing, Christ the Lord is risen today. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind those times in which we have sinned. You raise us to new life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You feed us with your body and blood to nourish us and give us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly. mercy, 
who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that they had any of his possessions that were his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed then according to each need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes in, in that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. 
For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. And he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, if we've been following the Gospel passages since last Sunday, Easter Sunday, when Christ rose from the dead, we hear all week that he has been making these appearances among his disciples and those who loved him and who he loved so much. And today we have this beautiful gospel passage where Jesus on that first night appeared to his disciples, but there was somebody missing, and that person missing was Thomas. So when he was told, he didn't believe. 
And then Jesus appears again to them when Thomas is there and tells Thomas to touch so he believes. Thomas had to see and touch in order to believe. And that's where we get, you know, poor old doubting Thomas there, right? And my friends, our faith is extremely strong, especially if you're sitting here in these pews this morning or you're watching at home and you come back each and every week or some of you come back every day for Mass. My friends, we don't have to see in order to believe. And I could probably take a gander here and say that not one of us sitting here today has actually seen Jesus face to face. We will get that opportunity to see him face to face, but that comes at the end of our earthly journey here. And even though to this date we don't see Jesus face to face or we don't get to put our fingers in his nail holes, we still believe that is our faith, my friends. And as long as we have our faith and we have our belief, that is all we need to get us to where we're going. And my friends, in a way though, we do see and touch Jesus each and every time we come around this table behind me. We receive him in the form of the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. And maybe that's enough for us as a seeing and a touching to believe. My friends, just because we don't see him face to face or get to touch his nail holes, let us never stop believing and let us never lose our faith because it is our faith that carries us to the end. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk just a little bit about Divine Mercy Sunday, which we celebrate on the second Sunday of Easter. And why would we not talk about it? Because we have Divine Mercy Sunday because of one person and one person only, and that is because of St. Faustina, whom this parish is named after. You know, in the 1930s, Sister Faustina had all these wonderful conversations with the risen Christ and got all these messages from him. And in her insight, because she believed, but if you read her diaries, sometimes she said she doubted. So at times, she was just like Thomas, who doubted. But she says that she believed everything that Jesus told her in these messages because of all the graces that God had given her. And that was enough for her to believe that these were true messages. And one of the messages that Jesus gave to her was that he wanted a Sunday or a day, a feast day, set aside in the church calendar that recognized his mercy and love for us. It is his mercy that forgives us of our sins and allows us to continue on this journey. Without his mercy, I'm not quite sure where we would be. So it is fitting that the divine mercy receive its own special day in the church calendar. And how fitting is it that it would be on the second Sunday of Easter? And my friends, it's only been about 21 years that this has actually been a part of the calendar. And that was thanks to John Paul II, a wonderful, wonderful Polish Pope who followed the words of a wonderful Polish sister and took her words that Jesus gave to her and made this become a reality. So we give thanks to John Paul II for having the insight. We give thanks to St. Faustina for having the courage and the insight to write down all of her talks and messages from Jesus and to share them with the world. And we give thanks that she pushed enough to have a wonderful celebration like Divine Mercy Sunday.
Let us stand now and profess our faith. I believe in one God. Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things physical and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer you this morning. Please respond to our petitions, Lord, hear our prayer. That the newly baptized and newly received find in the church both welcome and challenge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations, rich and poor, work together to share the world's resources fairly, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those seeking an increase in faith will grow in certainty that God's divine mercy is abundant beyond human imagination, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who need God's mercy find it in the actions of Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this community strive to be of one heart and one mind in the risen Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That life in all forms be respected in every way, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the prayer requests received by our parish's ministry of prayer be heard and answered according to God's holy will. And we pause now to remember our own personal intentions in the silence of our hearts. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, Frank P. Conway, and especially this morning's mass intention for Joe Kosh, may they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer you this morning. Grant them at your will, through your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. As the gifts are presented and prepared at the altar, we will sing, This is the Day. Yeah. 
my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our organ and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you. By the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us the eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Faustina, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Joseph our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and today we remember Joe Koch, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And peace for everyone of you at home. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should be unto my wife, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails, and do not be unbelieving, but believing. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our communion hymn will be, We Remember. Remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate, for you are with us spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to say thank you all for coming out today for Mass, those of you who watched at home. It's always a pleasure to be here with you on a Sunday morning when I get the opportunity to. So again, thank you. It's always great to see all your faces. Although I can't wait till we get rid of the mask so I can see all of your faces, which will be a wonderful thing. Continue to stay safe, social distance, wear your masks so we can get through this pandemic together and return back to more normal times. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, 
make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right, right manner on this earth, be, unite, re, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. As we go forth, let us sound our Easter joy as we sing, The Strife is O'er. back to this afternoon starting at one o'clock we will expose the blessed sacrament uh father nash will be here at the churches for at the church for confession between uh one and two o'clock although that may that usually goes past uh two o'clock so if you want to receive the sacrament of reconciliation you may come to the church after one o'clock social distancing will be enforced of course and starting at two o'clock we will start a divine mercy celebration which will include the prayers uh, some prayers, the rosary, some reflections, and finish up at 3 p.m. with the Divine Mercy Chaplet, plus the, uh, and then of course we'll celebrate benediction. Thank you everyone, take care, have a wonderful day. Hallelujah.